The National Art Education Association seeks to influence stakeholders and help those in the community to support the visual arts in our schools. As a teacher, I wonder how I can be a stronger advocate for arts education outside my classroom. Where do I begin and what should I do? While I was mulling over these questions, I stumbled upon a blog by Kristen Engelbretson. She shared 10 ways to support arts education. Look for volunteers, parents, people in the community that can give space, time, and money towards your program. Get involved politically. Make sure that those that are representing you in Congress know what your thoughts are about arts and education. And be sure to address the value it has for your school and your community. You can have a message prepared to share with those that you contact, those you come in contact with. Make yourself visible in the issues that you represent as an art educator in your communities. Continually assess what your strengths and your weaknesses are within your school, within your school district, and the community to know what gaps need to be filled. Forge strong partnerships. Be involved in community things that you can form alliances and network, people that will support your programs and arts education. Talk about the issue. Don't assume people know. Make sure you meet with your superintendent and principals and let them know of your concerns and the strengths the arts can provide students and their schools. Measure what your school and school district's philosophy is on arts education. What are the members of the school board's feelings about the arts and have they set aside money for arts education within your district? And last and perhaps the most important thing is to realize that you are the solution be the solution, embrace it. See what you can do to impact and influence those around you, both within the school, the community, and those leaders that can impact financial and other decisions that will ultimately impact classrooms.